Hey people, um, this is Terminator, um, a review video, and this is part two to the video because I was a bit busy today, I, I have to go and do shopping and stuff like that when, on the last video. Um, these are my, um, Terminator collection now, but I still class Salvation as a true Terminator movie. And I'm going to tell you why. How they made Terminator Salvation is really clever. They linked it up with every other Terminator movie in the past. Like, um, from this, The Terminator, Terminator Judgment Day, and Terminator 3, The Rise of the Machines. Um... What I like about these and Salvation, Salvation, I actually went to see Salvation, and I think it was a very damn good video. A movie, I mean, movie. I, I believe it was the best movie ever. It kind of like remind me of an old vibe. I actually probably did say that in the old video. Um, the Terminator... Salvation movie it was a damn good movie, and they should have just made another one after that one with Christian Bale as the Terminator and Catherine Brewster, his wife. And I would have loved to see him sent his father back to the future. We never get to see that, only in this, um, this other movie, um, Terminator movie, I don't class as a Terminator movie at all, and, like, where is Judgment Day, like, I think James Cameron has done the, the worstest mistake to remove this, this movie out of the equation, because really, I hate when directors do that. I hate when directors do that, like Ryan Johnson, like Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy and and freaking J.J. Abrams. How they just annoyed annoyed George Lucas's George Luke, George Luke George Lucas Star Wars story. How they just completely annoyed that. This is what um. Like, um, what, um, James Cameron is doing. I like James Cameron's movies, man. I love them. Like, especially Terminator, the first one. I love the first one better. Because it has that real vibe. And, like, Kyle Reese. And how the, how Arnold Schwarzenegger was like back in the old days. You know, when he was in his, like, great acting career. When I seen Arnold Schwarzenegger playing the Terminator in this one, he scares the crap out of me. Like, I wish I'd seen this in this one. But you see the scare in this one. And Kyle Reese. And you see a war-torn person who just got, being, he just got sent back in time to save... Sarah Connor. Like. I actually find. Terminator 3. The Rise of the Machines. Kind of like. Has that old vibe to it. And especially Salvation. Because. Like. Arnold Schwarzenegger playing the Terminator. In the. The. the not, an other Terminator. In the next. In this um, Terminator movie, it's kind of like the scare, the scary vibe of the Terminator is still there. Like he, he's a machine, and he's programmed to save Catherine Brewster and and John Connor. And really, he was the he that was the Terminator assassinated John Connor. <laughs> And I actually see 
in these two films, they have the same kind of horror vibe, realistic vibe. Like, that's where I, what I get out of these two. And yes, too, with this one, but... And I know it's... To me, don't get me wrong, I like Terminator 2, Judgment Day, but... For this, I have a lot of problems with this one. Why they didn't... Why they didn't had the like the bone like you know the extended cut the where um when Sarah Connor was hallucinating in in the um psychiatric ward and she sees Kyle Reese and Kyle Reese lifts her up and why you don't see um um when they're opening up um the Terminator's, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator, and seeing Sarah Connor about to smash the chip. Why, why that was removed from the movie? You know, this is how I should have believed they should have done it. They've done it with Suicide Squad too, with the Ultra HD. They, 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 they used the, the theatrical version in the Blu-ray version, but, and they, they just put the, they just put the normal one with the 4K like the 4K ones already my um, 4K player. They should have had the Terminator. Um, the Skynet condition within this too. Let me see how many power I got. That's good. They should have the Skynet condition. I think that's what the Skynet condition. And T fans all around the world, can you please tell me where I can? What what is the theatrical or the, the the deleted cut one is like? Is it the Skynet condition where it comes with all the deleted scenes and they put the deleted scenes into this m movie? Is that is that the one I'm looking for? Because I think I have to rebuy the Terminator Two Judgment Day. Because don't get me wrong, I like this and I like how it was created. It looks really brand new, like it came out of the cinema. But I was disappointed, and they deleted all the stuff what I was familiar with, because that's how I actually watched the Terminator mo movie um, with all the deleted scenes, and I was like wondering, what the fuck? Where's all them scenes? Like, where's all them scenes with, from the movie? Like, seriously, like, and it got my, got my head spinning, and I thought they would have had that in the remastered. They call it the refurnished, remastered version for the Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I probably have to buy... And I have to probably buy my Godzilla movie too. Um, I probably have to rebuy Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I have to probably buy the Skynet condition with the deleted scenes we put into... Back into the movie. Where they put all the deleted scenes in the movie. And. I just wish they would have just put that in there. And I always had this complaint with um, Steven Spielberg's movie. What I really fell in love with. Is Close Encounter of the Third Kind. Where other beings come from another world. And why they just don't. Put all the deleted scenes. In one big massive big like you know one disc like have like all the all the scenes put into one disc and stretch the movie out a bit longer um i love my um science fiction movies i love my um saga movies i'm gonna blow my fucking nose before i freaking have a sneeze attack uh. <laughs> um <laughs> I just have a lot of issues with the how they just deleted this and Salvation out of the equation now. Uh, they practically deleted the other one too. They removed that from the canon story. I don't. I don't really. I actually got told stories about Sh Sh um, Shadow Four. It's called or Dark Fate. That's what it's probably called. Dark Fate. Terminated Dark Fate. Um, I heard a lot of stories that killed off John Connor. 
And I actually put it this way, I'm not gonna lie. I actually seen when I actually seen on And yeah, I actually seen footages of that Um like on on the internet. And I actually seen it. And I'm not gonna dog who where I watched it because I'm no dogger, I'm no dibba dobba and stuff like that. I seen it and I seen some parts of the film, but I actually got told by a person who actually went to go and see it and he said it was complete garbage. And I actually listened to him because he's a person who I trust. And you would not want to see this, Barry. It will break your fucking heart. And I said, why? Because they killed off John Connor and my jaw just dropped. What the fuck? Really? And yeah. That's why I don't want to watch some Terminator Dark Fate. Because really, that is not going into my Terminator collection. Because really, they really stuffed that movie up. It's too much woke. It's too much SW crap. I'm not into that crap. I want to enjoy a movie without this identity politics. I hate that, man. I just want to really want to watch a movie where I can enjoy. With the Joker, I enjoyed that movie. I was not... I didn't see all that politics crap in it. I was watching a true blue movie. A true blue movie. None of this identity politics and rah, rah, rah this. I'm not into that crap, man. Like, seriously. Um... I want to go into a cinema where I can actually enjoy a movie. And even he said, you would not want to see this, Barry. It's too woke, too SJW. It's too much of that. And they killed off a, practically the lead character of all Terminator, John Damn Connor. They killed him off. Does that mean we don't have a John Connor no more? And the thing is, SJWs, if you complain about, like, shootings and stuff like that, why you never complain about a child getting shot? Hmm. I just wonder. Because really, he's all a bunch of hypocrites. Why you never complain about all the John Wick movies? I just wonder. Like, seriously. Why he's never really complained about a lot of other movies. But, Joker. What about you don't complain about some games, but Joker. Like, I know some SJWs complain about video games too. Put it this way. I do complain about one game is Last of Us and this is not really part of the video. Um, all I wanted to say why they didn't complain about a, a child getting shot by a Terminator. Point blank. And he's... And I've actually seen the scene. It's really gruesome. Why they never... Why they don't complain about that, SJWs? And I just wonder... I just wonder why you don't complain about that. It just shows you how much hip hypocrisy you use a bunch of people are. I'm not... I, that's why I never really go and see this film. You don't support movies, do you? You don't support pop culture. You don't support pop culture. You use a wrecking pop culture. And I can actually say that. And I'm a fan of pop culture. And I love my movies. And I grew up on movies the, for, for a long damn time. And I'm just seeing a real big massive change happening with fucking movies. With these psychotic people are in charge of our great movies. What we grew up on. Back in the 90s. And I do love my 80s man. I love my 80s and my 70s and my 60s. And my 50s movies. And especially my 40s and my 30 movies. These people, 
do not care about pop culture. They do not care about movies. They do not care about movie magic. They don't care. They're a bunch of psychopaths. And I bet they wouldn't even went to go and see a freaking movie. Went to go and see their woke movies. Because they don't care about movies. All they care about is politics. I'm not a politics person. I'm not a left. I'm not a left or a right person. I'm a middle person. I don't care about politics. When I went to go and see the Joker, I have seen no politics in that movie. I was satisfied. I was watching a real movie. And it was practically my first mature movie I actually went to go and see. And I felt really proud of the director, the guy who directed The Hangover, all the Hangover movies and all the movies he made. And I'm really so proud of what King Phoenix doing The Joker. And I'm proud of him. Thank you, Joaquin Phoenix. And sorry, it's kind of like leading to a Joker movie, and I'll probably have to say Joker in the movie. Um, thank you for watching my video. Put a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I don't know. I hope YouTube don't delete my channel because they've been doing that a lot to a lot of youtubers out there and i just don't want to be deleted and i'm a big fan of youtube i've been watching youtube for a long damn time and now i'm a youtuber myself and i'm supporting a brand what i like if they delete my brand if they delete my channel for good i'm not going to be really happy man i'm going to lose complete faith in youtube and I'm just going to leave it as that. Like and subscribe. And really thank you for watching. And God bless you all. I'm into you. Bye. Thumbs up. Peace.